In this Excel tutorial, I'm gonna explain information functions. Information functions are used to check whether a value meets certain criteria or not. The result of these functions can only be either true or false. These functions might seem useless but they are not. These are often used within other functions such as if function. First function is to check whether cell is empty or not equal to is blank i am selecting this cell a2 result is true because this cell has nothing in it if i drag this below these all cells have value in them so this is showing false okay so this is how is blank works now to check whether if there is an error in the cell equal to is error I am selecting this cell this is showing false because there is nothing in this if I drag this below you can see that for last cell it is showing true because there is error in this cell okay so there is div error which means division by zero is not possible so it is giving us error so whenever you use a formula in a cell you can use is error to check if there is any error in that cell now to check whether if the value is number or not is number i'll drag this below only this is true because only this is the number and other cells have different values which are not number so it is showing false and only true in this case now if you want to check if the cell has text then you can use is text let's drag this below so first is false because there is nothing okay second is true because this is text certainly and this is number so false true true for these two things because this is also considered as text in this cell there is error so it is giving false there are two more informative functions i would like to show i'll type here a number large number now if you want to check if this number is odd or even so we can use is even and i am selecting this number so false this is not even number similarly is odd to check if it is odd number obviously it will give us true because this is false if it is not even that means it is odd but you can use these functions in separate column and later on you can filter these to check whether from all of your numbers which numbers are odd and which numbers are even it depends on your creativity how you use these functions i hope you like this video see you in the next video